Hello everyone. In today's session, let us cover three topics. Wave theory of light, Einstein's photoelectric equation and about the photon. Photoelectric effect and wave theory of light. Photoelectric effect is an example for light behaving as a particle. The phenomena of interference, diffraction and polarization explains that light can behave as a wave. According to wave theory of light, light is an electromagnetic wave consisting of electric and magnetic fields perpendicular to each other with continuous distribution of energy over a region of space over which the wave is extended. Let us try and understand how wave theory explains photoelectric effect. Let us consider a metal which has free electrons at its surface. When a light is incident on a metal surface, the free electrons at the surface of the metal start absorbing energy continuously. On increasing the intensity of radiation, the amplitude of electric and magnetic field was found to be increased. Consequently, on increasing the intensity, the energy absorbed by each electron was also increasing. So here, according to wave theory, greater the intensity of radiation, greater should be the energy absorbed by each electron. With this, I can also tell the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons on the surface will increase with increase in intensity. A sufficiently intense beam of radiation falling on a metal surface should be able to impart enough energy to the electrons so that they acquire minimum energy and escape from the metal surface. A condition of threshold frequency that is the minimum frequency required for an electron to be ejected from the metal surface is not existing according to wave theory. So a intense beam of radiation will be sufficient to eject an electron from the metal surface. Since the light is falling over the entire region of the metal, the energy picked up by each electron would be very small. So therefore, it might take an hour or more for each electron to pick up the energy that is the minimum energy and come out of the metal surface. Compare the experimental features of photoelectric effect and the features of photoelectric effect based on wave theory. For a given photosensitive material, photoelectric current was found to increase with increase in intensity of light. But wave theory tells greater the intensity, greater will be the energy absorbed by each electron. The maximum kinetic energy of the electrons was found to increase with increase in frequency of radiation. But wave theory tells maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons was increasing with increase in intensity. For every photosensitive material, there exists a minimum frequency called threshold frequency below which no emission of photoelectrons take place. But wave theory tells no matter what the frequency of radiation is, a sufficiently intense beam of radiation should be able to impart enough energy to the electrons to escape from the metal surface. Photoelectric effect is an instantaneous process, but Photoelectric effect is not an instantaneous process according to wave theory. From the previous slide, it is 
clear to us that the wave theory of light was not able to explain the most basic features of photoelectric effect. Photoelectric effect was later explained by a well-known scientist Einstein by using Planck's quantum theory. Einstein's photoelectric equation. Einstein developed a new theory in 1905 to explain photoelectric effect on the basis of Planck's quantum theory. According to this, light consists of packets of energy called quanta. A quantum of light was named as photon. Every photon is associated with an energy equal to h into mu where h is Planck's constant, mu is the frequency. According to Einstein, photoelectric effect is an elastic collision between a photon and an electron. That is, when one photon is incident on a metal surface, one electron is emitted. If two photons are incident on a metal surface, two electrons are emitted. That is, it is a single event process. One photon, one electron is emitted. The energy of the photon or the energy carried by the photon which is observed by the electron can be used as work function and as maximum kinetic energy. Say for example, the energy of a photon is equal to 10 joules. Now, the electron on the surface of the metal requires 6 joules for it to be emitted. The remaining 4 joules of energy is utilized by an electron as kinetic energy. The energy of the photon can be written as kinetic energy maximum plus phi naught. Therefore, kinetic energy maximum is equal to h mu minus phi naught. If the incident photon has energy equal to work function, then phi naught is equal to h mu naught where mu naught is the threshold frequency. Therefore, I can write the equation for kinetic energy maximum as h mu minus h mu naught or it can be written as h of mu minus mu naught. This is Einstein's photoelectric equation. From the equation, it is very clear that the kinetic energy is directly related to frequency. That is, the maximum kinetic energy depends on frequency and not on intensity of incident radiation. If mu is less than mu naught, kinetic energy becomes negative. Negative kinetic energy implies that there is no photo emission. From this, it is clear that there exists a condition of threshold frequency. As the intensity of incident light increases, the number of quanta per unit time increases, which means if the incident frequency is greater than threshold, the number of electrons emitted will be directly related to the intensity of incident light. One photon incident on the metal, one electron is ejected. So, photoelectric emission is an instantaneous process. Einstein arrived at an important result that light quantum can also be associated with momentum. A definite value of energy as well as momentum is an indication that light quanta is associated with a particle.
that particle was named as photon. Later, Compton conducted experiments on scattering of X-rays from electrons which confirmed the particle behavior of light. Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize for his contribution to theoretical physics and the photoelectric effect. In 1923, Milliken was awarded the Nobel Prize for his work on elementary charge of electricity and on photoelectric effect. Properties of a photon When light is interacting with matter, it is observed that radiation behaves as it is made up of particles called photon. Each photon has energy h nu and momentum as h by lambda. Photon energy is independent of intensity of light. Photons are electrically neutral and are not deflected by electric and magnetic fields. In photon particle collision, such as a photon and an electron, the total energy and total momentum are conserved.